Taxi Charlie, Doug, right? Uh, just a notification. I have lost my vacuum pump. Previously on Alan Brock Images. Oh, I really hate me. Uh, the wind is barely blowing. It's not distracting at all, I'm sure. Eventually, the uh, correct part of my brain, the one that actually thinks. Have I mentioned that I want to keep going to Utah? I hate making wise choices. And now, the conclusion. So it's about 5.25 local time. Just woke up, got ready, and head to the airport. And today, today's a big day. Liberal traffic since you're in 732 Charlie Hotel, departing 17 Liberal. So good morning, it's about 7.15 mountain time, been flying for right at an hour and a half. Um, took off in the pitch black, it was really smooth and really pretty, but the GoPros wouldn't show anything. I don't know if they'll pick up the scenery I'm seeing right now because of the wide angle, but I wish you all could experience this. I've got the sun coming up behind me, and for about the past 15, 20 minutes I've been able to see the snow-capped mountains of the higher elevations. This is so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And like I said, this is not even the national park. This is just random territory out here. So, it looks like I'm going to arrive in St. George probably around 11 o'clock. It'll take me a bit to get my rental car situated, get loaded. So I hope to be in Zion by 12.30, 1 o'clock and maybe even get some hiking done today but this is just this is so worth it so i'm getting my first views of the red sandstone and it's gorgeous um, however we have had a bit of a hiccup my vacuum pump just bit the dust I am BMC it's clear for hundreds of miles and there's no airports around I'm just in the middle of nowhere so I'm proceeding like I said, we're VFR, and there's no airports. I mean, it's just desolate between here and destination. Behind us as well. Appreciate I'll try that. Wow. So, that's what yeah, I'm going with. 11 o'clock, step out. Sign. LA Center Centurion 732 Charlie Hotel. I'd like to go ahead and cancel IFR.
bet. My buddy Ben Horn is up here on the east side. Let's see what he... If he's down there. Everybody look close. That might be Alan Brock flying over right now. Would not be surprised if it's Alan Brock. Just ruining my audio right now. Thanks, Alan. St. George traffic, Centurion 732, Charlie Hotels, downwind, runway 19, St. George. I'm here. I, I don't know how I expected the trip to end, but I can't believe, I mean, it's not that hard. Once you know how to fly into one airport in the US, you know how to fly into all of them, basically, but I can't believe I did it. I can't believe I just landed my own airplane in St. George. I'll never forget today. As it turns out, there's no easy way to segue between flying in large format. After arranging to have the vacuum pump in the airplane replaced, I packed up the car and made the one hour drive to Zion. Once there, I transitioned my backpack from flying gear to large format. Hoping to avoid the crowds, I escaped toward the washes, looking forward to a peaceful afternoon of photography and having the area entirely to myself. See this gorgeous run of maples back there? Where's that big tree? Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's an 8x10 camera there. I wonder who that could be. I was walking up on this thinking, man, that is eye-catching. I want to shoot that. Somebody beat me to it. Who could it have been? Ben. Hmm, keyword. Oh, it looks like an Arca Swiss. Hmm, who shoots 8x10 and an Arca Swiss? I tell you what. He's not around. I literally don't see him anywhere. I'm gonna set my camera up right in front of his. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta be careful though. I don't wanna get anything in the scene. Unfortunately, Ben's spidey senses kicked in and he returned before I could pull off the prank. It's probably for the best though. I would have felt really bad if I had post holed the tripod leg in the foreground of his composition. Despite arriving second, I decided to set up a shot anyway. As I was composing, I was a bit worried about the end result appearing a tad bland. Unfortunately, my worries were well founded, as this shot doesn't do too much for me. However, it does serve a purpose in showing Zion's absolutely breathtaking color this year. The maple leaf shot, on the other hand, is one I'm really happy with. For starters, and I cannot emphasize this enough, I did not place this leaf. I'm fairly certain no other photographer did either, as it was really windy. So windy, in fact, that the leaf blew away as I was capturing some B-roll after the photograph. The red maples above the curled sand were casting a beautiful warm light on the scene. With the leaf having blown away, it meant that I was able to capture a very fleeting scene in great light. Unknown to me at the time, this would be a recurring theme throughout this year's trip to Zion.
not Alan Brock. The plane looks like his, though. 